What's going on, everyone? Reactor Factor here, back reacting to this episode. So what's going on, Jammers? How you guys doing? Welcome to another episode of Jam TV. Now today, okay, okay. I'm gonna tell you a day when Bone Thugs and I were at Lincoln West High School. I'm gonna take you all the way back there and let y'all know one of the instances where we had to run away from the truant officers because we was cutting class, True. trying to drink some beer. Y'all <laughs> stay tuned, y'all gonna love this one. Now I want you to picture, if you will, <laughs> A young lazy, a young crazy, a young busy. Where's Flash? We all getting up in the morning. Lazy's brother. To the same school. Our sole mission in school was to be the greatest rappers and to get geeked. We from we cut class and we had this special place where we would go and we would drink. It was like a little special place. We would like find someone to buy us the 40s and we'd go drink. So we all would meet yeah, up around almost third people. or fourth period, right before lunch, like a class or two before lunch, one of the lunch periods. All right, then we'd cut out, we'd sneak out to school, we'd look both ways and we'd sneak out to school, bust out the door and just start running out to school. You know what I'm saying? And just start running out of the school. So this one time we made it out with no truant officers looking for us, no hallway officers, none of that. And this is in Cleveland. This is on the west side of Cleveland. It's Lincoln West. It's a highly integrated school. It's Latin. It's, it's, it's just all cultures. It's just every culture you can think of. Spanish culture, black culture, white culture, Asian culture, every culture was there. Okay. It was like, and I, it seemed like that that was the purpose of the schools to bring people in from different neighborhoods. We lived all the way across the bridge. They didn't have to drive us all the way to that school like that. We lived like across the bridge all the way down St. Clair. Because you got the east side of Cleveland, you got the west side of Cleveland, and downtown is in the middle. And then you got a bridge that splits us in half. So anyway, we get away from the truant officers, right? We go to our little favorite spot. Now, it's truck drivers over in the corner to where they knew we were sneaking back there because after a while, it just... There's like a bunch of beer bottles back there. They kept wondering where the beer bottles coming from. So they sat back and they watched us and they found out who we were. So they was like, you guys can come back here. Y'all can drink back here. Just don't be doing no stupid shit. Just don't be smoking no weed. Don't be doing <laughs> back, back then, we really wasn't smoking weed. Then we was just drinking, right? I mean, this is young, 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 young. I'm talking like 14, 15 years old. Like, <laughs> real young. So we back there drinking, we enjoying ourselves, we talking, we rapping and shit. So the truck drivers were saying, we heard y'all back here, y'all been rapping, we hear y'all rapping, y'all just don't cause no trouble and y'all can stay back here and work on y'all music. So we That's all just sitting wrong. back and we had this one little thing we always used to sing like, Spoken hydro, feeling fine, while well, I'm sipping on wine, wine, yeah, get old. Why I'm going choking off Pajo Yeah, should have been Georgia Liverpool soldier So, as you can see, these were the beginnings of the harmony Of Bone Thugs and Harmony Grassroots Acapella Creating Even before the fast shit Really became a part of what we were doing Now, while we back there rehearsing Drinking beer Cutting class all of a sudden we heard, yo, what the fuck are you boys doing back there? <laughs> we look, it's the fucking truant officers, right there. We all looked at each other like. 
<laughs> Get out of there. We jumped out, jumped through the back. They go chasing us. So we all running. I go my own way. Lay and Craig go their own way. And one of the homies we was with went their own way. So we all split up in three different directions. I went around the corner. I went away from the school towards the liquor store to go all the way around. Lay and Cray went more towards the school. So, you know, it took me about 15, uh, about 15, 20 minutes to get back into the school, snuck back in by somebody at the door and get in. So as I'm walking down the hallway, getting back in school, I see Cray and Lay, and it's, it, the hallways was packed. So you couldn't tell that I wasn't the only motherfucker in the hallway. So, so Lay and Craig being brought back in in handcuffs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just looking at them like, damn, they got caught. Hell no. So at the time, we all stayed at the same house. We all stayed like at this, um, it was like our own little spot. It was downstairs from one of Lay, well, from Lay's girlfriend at the time. And we all three just lived there. You know what I'm saying? Took showers there, changed our clothes there, ate there, went to school for me. So, oh yeah, definitely a big old shout out out there to Mrs. King, who used to let us do our thing down there, write music and really become who we are. She was always there to listen to us and 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 cheer us on and root us on. So big love out there to Miss King out there in Cleveland. You know you are. So anyway, we all get back to the house. You know my question. Nigga, how y'all get caught? Why y'all run that way? Y'all should have ran away. I was running. They was like, look, we trying to run in different directions, so they got to follow somebody. You know, they can't follow everybody all at once. So everybody breaking in different directions, and if you the one, then it's you and them. And that's basically street rules. It's the unwritten street code that we live by. We'll talk about street code in a minute. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, okay, so how the fuck you get caught? So they like, I'm running, right, B? I'm like, I'm right. Like, I'm so mad at this nigga. I'm like, what do you do? He's like, let me tell you the story. I'm running. I'm getting away. This nigga get caught on the motherfucking fence. So Craig, you know, he don't talk no goddamn way. Sometimes he'll just go catatonic and... You hear birds and shit flying past you. It just shuts down. Just <laughs> straight up. <laughs> so... Lay was like, yeah, it's nigga. The nigga said, Steve. I said, uh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Running from one time, why? Forgot that the gun wasn't mine. Running from one time, why? Forgot that the gun wasn't Make sure that it wasn't outdated. Make sure that the watch wasn't plated. Bitch, I'm still lonely, so let me get right into this big old gun. Oh, boy. Pull up money, I pull up my own. Still, I look like you. There's no place in this movie left there for you. So, after so I many times of getting caught by truant officers, they knew what was up. They knew we were a rap group. They knew, they, they just knew, they felt it. Like they just started just turning a blind eye. So we all walking down the hallway, all three of us about to go and go to our chill spot. That's what we called it, the chill spot. So the, 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 the principal, Mr. Brackus, and Mr. Brackus was a stocky white dude, you know, looked like he had a little military training, like he used to be in the military. He talked like real, like a sergeant, you know what I'm saying? And he brought us all into the office. He was like, I know what you guys are going out there to go do. And we all three just sitting down, like, we don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Brackett. We finna go to class, just like you told us. We all finna go to class. That's all we finna do. We wasn't, you know what I mean? We just finna go get some 40s and rehearse. So he was like, I wanna sit you guys down. He said, he, he said, Stephen, lazy bone. Why can't you be more like your brother, flesh and bone? So Flesh and Bone, he was the one getting all the good grades in school. He was the basketball superstar on his way to college. All the girls loved him. You know, he was going to that type of shit. He was living that life. You know what I mean? That was the life that he was in. He was still doing his shit, but that was the life he was in. That was his bubble. So Mr. Brackett told Lay, he was like, why can't you be more like your brother? I mean, come on. I understand these guys. You know, these guys ain't got no examples at home. But you got examples at home. And you know, like, he's just straight thugged out. He listening, but you can tell it's going in one ear and out the motherfucking other. He's like, I already know when I let y'all out this office, y'all going right through that door. And I'm going to let y'all. He said, but I'm going to tell you guys something. 
If you get focused and if you don't get focused, you guys are all gonna wind up in jail. Each one of you, Brian, Anthony, Steven, all three of y'all are gonna wind up in jail if you don't get your shit together. So we sat down, we was just listening to him, you know. So he said, y'all go ahead. I won't even watch y'all. I already know what y'all gonna go do. So we all turned around. We went to go get some beer. <laughs> Hands down, flat out. We went to go get booed out yet again. So we sitting back and we talking amongst each other and we like, our lives ain't gonna be that way. We're gonna be the biggest and the best musicians and the best rappers that ever hit this world. Yes. Yes. And those are the dreams that we had together. And that's how we dream. And I'd be damned if we didn't make those dreams come true. And Flesh and Bone is with us. You know, so Flesh and Bone, he went to college, he did his thing, but he still was the one with us on the one-way bus tickets down to California. He was there every step of the motherfucking way, using everything that he learned in school and all of his connections and contacts that he had from basketball and everything. And that's how we got down to Los Angeles and didn't stop. So it all came together eventually and it all played a major, major part in our success today. Okay, that was a great one. Great one. Thank you, Little Ripsa, BB Gambini, Izzy Bone, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Shout out, Steve Lobel.